Hi there, in this video I'll be giving you a walkthrough of my notes application for Windows Phone. Uh, this uh, app will work in Windows Phone 7 or Windows Phone 8. I will be walking through with the Windows Phone 8 version here. There are a few small differences, I'll point them out as we go. So you can see the my notes application sitting on my main screen here and I'm going to launch it and it comes up. At the very top um, you'll see my notes and this is called a pivot. You see my lists if I swipe over or you can swipe over and see my countdowns. Let's start with my notes. Now at the bottom is a little plus icon that says new note and there's settings down here. So we'll start with adding a new note. The standard uh, workflow you'd probably do uh, using this application. So at the very top I can give it a note name. So we'll call this note one and hello there. Give it some text and of course we just save it. Uh, simple enough. Let's go back in here and see what else we can do in here. Uh, we can um, delete this item and it's gone. Now let's go back and create another one. No one. Hello there. And also, in Win here's two options in Windows Phone 8 that you don't get in the Windows Phone 7 version. Um, dictate note and read note. I won't show them here, but with dictate note you can read your note and it'll get inserted here and read note will read the note audibly back to you. We can add a photo, we can undo our changes, uh, pin the item once it's been saved, it's grayed out right now. We can email the item, send it as a text message, share it with our social accounts, copy it to, to the clipboard, or go to settings. So um, there's two ways to save it, just hit the back button will save it, or hit the save icon if that's easier. Um, there's also a few more options. Notice at the top there's an options um, text there. If I swipe the screen over, I'll get more options. The very first one is categories. I can add any category. I'll create one called personal, save the note. Now when I go back out of here, it's now under this category. Let me add a new note and I'll add another category. So you can see personal is listed here now. If I add another category, I'll call it business. And in this case, I'm going to then change the icon for this note as well. I'm going to change it to this Metro note. There's a few options in here. And hit save. And there we go. We've got business and personal. Let me add a third note. Go back to options. Let's give it a color this time. We'll give it green. And let's set a due date on this. A due date's tomorrow. And we'll set the time here to 2.45. And once I've set a due date, I can actually add an alarm reminder as well. So uh, my notes reminder, say OK, and tomorrow at 2.45 I'll get a toast pop up on my phone giving me a reminder. I can also password protect a note um, or change the uh, tile color that is saved if you pin a note to a tile. Let me save this now. Here you can see it's green and it's not categorized. Also if I click on these little folders, whoops, if I click on the folder it'll open and close these categories. If I hold down a note for a few seconds, a box will come up with pinning the item. Let's pin this one. And there you can see note three. Here's the default tile background. I can click on it to go back to the note. I can modify it, test. And you'll notice the text will get added to the tile. Let's go back now to the main app. And you can see the due date sitting here. At any point, you can turn off the due date if you wanted. Um, and you can also, if you wanted to change the uh, tile background, let, let me change it to accent color. Save this and um, let me make sure, was it note 3 I pinned? Yes, you can see the background is now red. Alright, let's go back into my notes and let me select another note. Let me show you the password protection feature. Let me swipe over to options and password protect this note. Now if it's uh, first time setting it, it'll ask you to set a password. It'll bring you to settings to the password page and I click on the new set a new password button. I'll just make it simple, one, two, three, four. It only takes digits. You've set a password. Are you sure? If you forget it, you won't be able to retrieve your notes. So a good warning there is don't forget your password. Um, this option here, only prompt when starting app. I'll show you what that does, but that essentially says that you know, don't ask me for each note, just ask me once when I launch the app. So turn it on for all uh, notes. So let me save this back out of here. Now, 
whenever I try to open it, notice no password. I wasn't asked for a password when I launched it, but if I go into note one where I've locked it, I'm now asked for the password. Enter the password and I, I can now see my note. So if you needed to store an, uh, just one note containing other passwords, for example, you could lock that. Let me show you what it looks like to lock the whole app. So let me go back to settings. Now when you're in settings, you can swipe over. There's a whole lot of settings in here. And let's go over to password and click on only prompt when starting the app. Okay, it'll actually ask you right away because you haven't entered it yet. So let me exit the app and show you that working. My notes, it'll ask me for the password. And now when I click on a note that I've turned a password on, it will not additionally ask me for it. Also, if I try to get in here from a pinned note, it will ask me for the password as well. All right. So I think that's a good overview of um, the note feature. Let me go back into settings and turn off the password feature. Okay. Now, let me also go back to this um, settings of the note list. So this is settings on that main page. So you can choose a different sorter. I can choose alphabetical. Um, I can also change the note size. Let's make this extra large. Um, and then I can also say show me the dates and I can change the size of the dates. So let me save it here. And then under each folder the notes would be sorted alphabetically. And you can see that the dates listed there as well. Alright, let me go back and again you can turn those off as you desire. You can set the text to small in here as well to see more note items in there. Um, the next set of options, let me click on a note, go back into settings, and you'll be able to see note list, note page. Um, lock orientation to portrait means if you're holding a phone physically and you tend to uh, be lying down reading your notes and you don't want it to shift, you can turn it off there. You can disable speech confirmation when you're using dictation. It'll ask you if this is what you said. You can just let it accept what you always say. Um, and again, here's where you can change your font size in the note itself. And it shows a little sample text here. And choose a date to show on the, on the note page. You can pick created date or last modified date. Let me save this. You can see I've got an extra large, f whoops, extra large font in here. And there's the date up here. You can change that to show created date or last modified date. All right. Now on to my list. My lists are similar to notes, but they're checkbox lit checks checkbox lists. So I'm going to create a sample one here. Let's say I wanted um, some groceries. I give it a name and then I hit the plus button to start adding list items. So a list item could be eggs, bacon, orange juice, bread. Apparently we're making breakfast here. Now at any point I can select some of these. I can turn them on and off. When I save this I'll see my grocery list and I can come back in here. As well, I can pin this to my live tiles, and there you can see the list as well. Let me go back. Now, if you want to edit one of these items, you write, you click on it, hold it for a second, and you can delete an item. Let's delete orange juice, and let's change bacon to something else. So we'll say edit. Okay, so edit brings up an edit box here where I can um, add one pound of bacon, and then click on save, and bacon got changed to one pound. Again, you can add more list items, and you can, if you want to get rid of that list item, you just click Add again. Uh, you can delete a list. You can do similar stuff as you can do with uh, a note, sending it as an SMS, sharing it, copying it to your clipboard, or whatnot. Let's save that. That is list. And again, you can, if I, um, when I'm creating lists, list two, there's a bunch of options here similarly. So you can pick a category. And these are completely separate categories. So you can name them anything, or you can name them this the same as you did before. You can pick an icon. Um, you can set a due date or pack password protect it as well. And there you go. There's the list. Um, lastly is my countdowns. This is a great way to keep track of uh, birthdays, for example, um, or holidays. I can say my birthday coming up, and my birthday's in June. 11th, and my birthday will be next year. Um, so we've set the date. You can add a reminder if you want. Again, you can pick a category. We'll call this, uh, again, I like to use personal. And then pick an accent, pick a color here. 
Um, I'll pick blue. Now when I save that, there's the blue item, there's the folder, I can open and close the folder, and there I can see 328 days. I can also pin it to my tile, and the great thing about pinning these is there's a background task that will automatically update these every day, so you'll see how many days, I don't have to launch the app. I can make this smaller and have a bunch of different birthdays. Let me throw another one in there. Um, how about Christmas? Set the date for that. 25. Um, give it a nice. I'll, I'll leave that as the accent color. And there we go. Anything uncategorized will be separated with this gray bar. There's my personal stuff, and there's Christmas. Again, I can hold it here and I can pin right from here. Pin the item and make it a little smaller if I like. All right, let's go back to the app. Um, back to settings for a second. So we've covered note list settings, page note settings. There are also settings for the list pages. If you tend not to use lists, you can actually hide them. You can change your sort order, your font sizes for lists as well. Um, and then there's themes. If you want to select a nice, uh, different background color uh, for the app, let's pick a blue. You can pick a font that goes with it. Um, you can also pick an image. So let's pick, um, how about branches? And let me turn this back. I'll show you what the background image will look like. There you go. Now you get a nice background image on each of the pages. You can upload your own photo as well. So that was theme. Um, and if you wanted to upload your own photo, you can say custom background here and then select an image here. One last thing I want to show you is inside of notes, um, you can add a photo to a note. Oh yeah, I locked that one. Let me go unlock it. And let's add a photo. It'll ask me what photo. There's none in here. I'll just take a photo. Okay, we'll just accept this photo. It's a blank. But then the photo shows up here and I can add, I can select the photo, add a caption. Um, and then you can put any number of photos below the note. As, as the note gets longer, you'll see more information of the note. And then the photos will always be below it. Let me save that, go back into the note. And at the bottom, you'll have your set of pictures under there. Uh, and that is pretty much it for this application. Um, if you need help or uh, want to send the, me a feedback, you know, please go in here and um, click on send feedback. I'd love you if you rate the app as well, but um, please let me know how things are going, and uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.